Okay, hi. So I'm gonna do my eyeliner real quick because it's something I've been bullshitting about and like like scolding you guys about it, but I've never really spoke about it. And I'm like tired of being everyone being like, like I already did that or like what? Like as if it's like nothing because it's actually something, okay? So um, I take inspiration from like the 40s, the 60s, 70s, and I take inspiration from like like models and actresses who had their their um, makeup very natural, but there was a specific reason for the placement of the makeup. Like they didn't just put on makeup. Like nowadays people just like put on colors. It's like so fu I'm gonna get into the colors thing in a second. It's so fucking ridiculous. Like I, I like loathe colors. It's so cheap and tragic. It's only, okay, just, just stop. I'm not, I'll get into it in a second, okay? I'm gonna fucking flip out about it. Like, like I said, don't flip out on me. I don't give a fuck. Like this is my channel. If you wanna go talk about how you love colors and like fucking leave me alone, go talk about how you like, like colors on your own channel. Cause I don't care. It's not cute, okay? Unless there's only one way it's cute and I'll tell you. Okay, so I take inspiration from, I have like, this, a whole on my Insta, like Insta, Instagram, whatever. I have like all these saved photos of like, there's like some girls nowadays too. Who's this Bonnie strange girl? She's so fucking pretty. Like, okay, that is like, she looks very old school, but she's not. And then like, okay, I have like a lot of old Hollywood girls. This is like 67, um, that I love. 67 is not really old Hollywood, okay? But you know, I have like, see if Sophia Loren. I'm gonna shut up, okay? Let me just show you what I'm doing. So I bought this, um, Okay, your Weiss eyeliner the other day, which I do like, but I think I'm gonna use this Maybelline um, Lasting Drama Matte, okay? And it's just one of those like put roll ones like that. It's like a, it's not like a pencil, it's a crayon more. Okay, let me tell you what I'm doing here. So it's, let me just show you the inspiration. Actually, the inspiration is more like Sophia Loren, but I don't have her photo here. Uh, this is another girl who's more my coloring. So just, just for like, let me show you what she did to her eye. Okay, do you see that line that goes on the, on the bottom of her lashes outwards? It's a straight line, right? Okay, so that's the inspiration. It's not exactly what I'm doing. It's just, it makes your eye look bigger. And it, it like, it's like a very, it's like a, I'm doing like a less dramatic way where it's like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, okay, like it's not like over the top. I hate over the top makeup. Like I think it's like, I don't like, a, I don't like it, a, a makeup that's not, there's not a reason for it. Like, I don't really like that. Like, like red lip, I get it. But like, other than, I don't, I don't, I don't like colors. Like, I mean, I, whatever, I, I don't hate that. Cause people would be like, oh my God, like three months ago you did color. Like, no, I didn't. Okay. And if I did, I don't care. Cause I, whatever, I forgot about it. So I never liked colors. It's just like, I, I did color like one time. All right, whatever. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. Hopefully you can see. And I don't care if you can't see because I don't know how to fucking do this. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to show you. I'm taking the edge of this. So I'm not going to like put it like that. I'm going to do it like that to get the edge. Right. I'm already like flustered today. Like you guys know, I can't like talk about like, real shit in my life with you. Like I can't because it's just, like, too much. Like my, I'm like so fucking busy at work. Like I'm shaking. Like I'm so fucking busy at work. I'm so like my like personal life is always fucking like obnoxious. I'm like I'm like on one today. I really gonna get. A, I'm gonna get a coffee. I I feel like today is I, I'm shaking already. Like oh I can't. <laughs> I fucking can't. Okay. I have like the best new coffee recipe. I'm dead. I know you don't do it. Like if one person tells me you do this, I'm going to flip out. All right, here we go. All right, I'm gonna start here actually. Okay, let me just show you so far what do we see? Do we see? Do we fucking see this? Thank you. Okay, we do. Honestly, I'm so I, I'm so infuriated. Like I can't even have music on. Like I can't do this without music on. Like it's so annoying. I can't I can't stand this. Like I'm not doing YouTube anymore. I need Botox. Like I just need music on to fucking focus. Okay. I'm not even dragging it out. My little fish earring. That's so cute. I love it. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to explain to you.
All right, I'm gonna explain to you why this is the way it is. Okay, first let me just, I'm gonna go over it a little bit with my Kayer Weiss. Um, this is like an all natural brand or something, which I don't really give a fuck about, to be honest, like I don't care. Um, yeah, I, I, it was weird because I, I love the brand, like I had a lot of her things last year. Um, so I bought this, but I wasn't looking to buy it, but I tried it on my hand just to, for the fuck of it. And then I was like trying to clean it off my hand and like wouldn't come off, which I love. Like it's an eyeliner that's like doesn't come off. Um, so I bought it and I've been using it for my waterline and I, I do like it. Um, it's not like the blackest black. I think that's because it's natural, you know? But I love like Scandinavian brands, you know, and that's this. Okay. It needs to be blacker. Like it needs to be blacker. I'm not gonna, Kay Weiss is like not black enough for this. And this is pretty black, but it like dries out easy. I tried to use a, um, I tried to use a, um, like a, like a wet liner, like a pen, but it didn't work. Okay. So that's it. Let me show you guys. So it's actually pretty perfect. I kind of love it. I just need to get a, a pencil that's a little bit darker because my wing is like liquid and this is crayon. So it kind of like, you can tell, and it looks a little bit hokey to be honest, like a little bit like, you know, but okay. Let me put on my bottom. Um, this is my Pat McGrath mascara, which I fucking love. I saw my second tube of it. We've already talked about how it dries out a little bit faster than I'd like, but it's still great. Okay. Okay, so that's the look. I also bought this the other day too, just so we can like kind of just forget the mess. I bought this Laura Mercier in hazelnut tea. Hold on, just hold the fuck on, okay? Okay. All right, so that is kind of the look. The lips will settle down a little bit. Like the more I talk, they'll like massage in. Um, okay, so let me just quickly talk about the eyes really quick. Do we see what I did? So there's actually skin in here. This is my waterline like way up in here. So I've left a gap and it, it bring it makes the eyes bigger. Okay, so let me just stop. So I did, did I say this in the beginning where I get inspiration from like, yeah, like old Hollywood and stuff like that. And I feel like in the, I feel like in the old, I'm not dissing, I know there's a lot of like makeup artists out there and stuff, and like I understand like I'm not dissing any makeup artists, okay? Like I feel like everyone like gets so fucking offended. So um, I just feel like makeup artists, there's a lot of great makeup artists, just so just stop. I'm just saying, okay? I, there's, I'm not talking about today! Oh my God, stop! I'm not talking about today. Just can't you talk about something else? Stop like everyone think, like, assuming that I hate you. Okay. So, um, but makeup artists, like in old Hollywood days, I feel like they were like, like really true artists because like there was no like Instagram filters. There was no, like, there wasn't like 400 million like cosmetic options for you to use. Like they were legitimately using like little tools with like paints and shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like it wasn't like the way it is today. So they were true artists also like, you know, when they were doing actresses and models faces, 
there wasn't, I mean, like the tech, like the, the ability to alter someone's face after taking a photo is, was not like the way it is today. Okay. So they really knew about shadows and like different face structures and stuff. And it just, you know what I mean? So I'm not saying that they didn't, weren't able to alter faces or didn't have some kind of Photoshopping abilities, but it was very, very like not comparable, not comparable today. Okay. So, um, I basically like, I love the way Sophia Lorenz um, straight lifts are here. If you go look at some of her old photos, it looks the way she had like a, like a shadow with light shadowed liner or something. And then a lot of the women, a lot of like the, um, actresses, old Hollywood actresses, like they did this exaggerated line that kind of continued with their eye to make it look like just a larger, more sense, like sexy eye. Okay. Um, a lot of them did that. And a, a lot of the, the girls that I save, on my like whatever favorites or whatever like are very natural looking or they're like korean with natural colors i don't like colors i don't like colors on light-skinned people actually i don't like colors on any people but i'm going to show you something that i found because i'm just like dying for someone out there to recreate this look and show it to me because if i had dark skin i'd be fucking doing this every goddamn day but let me just show you this like here's some like here's this girl her name is adrian la russa i don't know who she is but if you look closely she's from like the 60s if you look closely at her face, I mean, she's probably not that pretty of a girl, to be honest. Like, she doesn't look that pretty. She looks like a little mousy. Her teeth are, like, really jacked. But, like, her makeup is done so well. And, like, the, the it accentuates and it brings out what she is. Like, it brings out her beauty. And I feel like nowadays, a lot of people do the opposite. They put, like, colors on or, like, I don't know. It just doesn't, we don't, we don't do that anymore. Um, well, it's not true. Not everyone. But, like, this girl is so pretty. She's modern day. But she also is doing the line on the bottom. It's a straight liner. So you're not curving in to your own line, your own eye. You're actually just making a straight, a straight line. And I really like it. It doesn't make like a huge difference. It's just something different. It's like, oh, you know what I mean? Like that fucking looks so sick. Like I love it. It's just, it's just different. Okay. All right. So let me just show you this. If you have dark skin, I'm just going to give you the most fun thing to do ever. And I don't think white girls can do this or like light skinned, whatever kind of girls, like anyone with light, light skin, I don't think you can do this. Like we can't wear colors. Like I'm we're not allowed to wear colors. Like I'm not allowing it. Like I don't like it. I never like it. It looks bad. Like it's not true. Actually, I do like it sometimes. Like I'm on Instagram and I see like girls with like color eyes, whatever. Okay. Sometimes I like it, but I don't. So can we talk about Diana Ross? I'm like a huge Diana Ross fan. Like who isn't? But um, okay. Look at her makeup. I like legitimately almost fell on the floor when I saw this post. I was like, oh my God, like her hair, everything like to die for. But look what she did because she already has like massive eyes. So it's just like made them even like more stunning. Okay. I just can't do it. Like I have freckles. I have like, I don't have the skin. Like she's got like, you know, the, the black skin and just looks so gorgeous with that pop. Like it makes it pop. And like light skin doesn't do that. Okay. So here we go. Let me just show you shit. So look at that liner. Do you see the liner on her bottom lash line? Okay, I'm gonna pull this, I'm gonna pull the phone in and it's gonna fuck up my lens, but I want you to see this lavender color she's on her eye on her bottom line. You can't see it, huh? Fuck. Okay. Someone go look this up, this girl, th this picture up of Diana Ross. She has black, black, um, what's it called? Eyelashes, like whatever, obviously false eyelashes. And then she put on her waterline, like the most beautiful lavender, like thick line on her on her waterline of lavender. It is absolutely gorgeous. Like, I don't know if I was if I had the skin tone, I'd be do I'd be because I love to like recreate old Hollywood or like whatever vintage girls kind of like vibes, like get inspiration from them. Uh, I saved another one from Ross. Yeah, okay, okay. Here's another one from Diana Ross. Look at the white. She did a, a real, I don't know if it's white here though because it's just a black and white picture. But look at the waterline again. Like it's probably, it maybe isn't even white. Maybe it's like another color, but just so fucking sick. And if you guys will watch the way she did it, she made it straight again. They're not curving in the eye to make it like a round eye. They're making it like a straight line. Like, you know, there's reasons for it. Like it's just done so, I don't know, I love it. I'm like all about it. So if you guys, if anyone out there has dark skin, please recreate this and I wanna fucking see how you did it. Cause like, I'm so jealous. I wanna fucking do that purple eyeliner like that, but it just won't pop. It looks fucking tacky on me. Like, why am I not focused? It looks tacky on me. So I really wanna show you guys that. Um, but I always go through like old Hollywood pictures and get inspiration from, from them because I just feel like, look at like, I don't uh, what's her name? Yeah, Sharon Tate, where she did the black line like up in here, like that, like a line that smudged a little bit. It was like her signature. 
so pretty. Like, just so fucking pretty. I don't know. Like, look at this. Here's another line. Here's another. Look at this. Look at this lash, uh, lash line. Look at this eye. Look at this fucking eye. Like, that is so ridiculously sick. Like, I love it. I fucking love it. So I've got tons in here, like, saved of what I love. And I just, I just, like, whatever. It's been way too long. I'm going to stop this now. Okay, I'm going to get, um, but see, like, I wouldn't, like, walk around like that. Actually, I would. But I just feel like I'm more casual than that. So I just like to do a, a, a little, like, a, a taste of it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to go fucking overboard. I'm going to get coffee right now and this fucking bitch never better not fuck it up because she's such a fucking cunt where I go like honestly she's like such a fucking bitch I don't get it actually they all are that fucking asshole didn't say thank you again to me last night I swear to god I gotta talk to you guys about customer service I don't get back here I swear I'm done look at this see that it's a pore it's, it's like a hole and that's just developed recently isn't that sad I know I gotta get that fixed I don't know what to do <laughs> Okay, you guys, I'm back. I got my coffee. I want to just talk about some vibe shit with you real quick. Um, I'm going to talk about my coffee. Um, okay, let me show you guys the sunglasses. And I have kind of like a situation. So I love them. Like, I saw them at the store. Okay. Oh, my God. That's skinny, right? Okay, like, look at this. I, like... You know what I love? I love like when I'm like walking now, like if I'm holding my bag, I can like feel my bone right here. Like my, I can like feel my um, ribs right here. It's like such a vibe for me. It's like a must. Like I can explain it. It's like, if I don't feel it, then I know something's wrong. You know what I mean? Like that's how I'm like, I don't care. Okay. Anyway, so these are them. They're Gucci obviously. And this is my problem. I don't like to like, I, to, to be honest, I don't want to be a spectacle. Like I, I already know, like I'm already like a lot. Like I have like the dog with me. I have like kind of a loud car. Like my presence is just like a, like a loud presence. I'm not like an under the radar kind of like presence. I don't know why, like what it is about me. I'm not, I don't, I don't, but I don't like to be flashy. Like my clothes are like pretty understated except for like, I have like a few like key, you know, like, like loud pieces. But for the most part, I'm pretty like mellow, okay? So I actually don't like to be a spectacle. And I also don't like to feel like someone's, like, if I saw someone wearing those, unless they were done like just right, I'd be like, to be honest, who the fuck do you think you are, bitch? Like take those the fuck off before I smack them off your goddamn face. Like I don't like when people are like over the top extra, like too much, like, you know, I don't like it. Um, but I love the glasses, but I don't feel like, I feel like that's what they do to me. It's just like a little bit much like bitch who the fuck do you think you are sit the fuck down i'm going to like literally punch you out like that's just how i feel about certain people when they're like when it's if it's not done right there are some people who i'm just like you can do no wrong you can wear the fuck you want if you look on as fuck but am i like not that i don't want to be like that i don't want to be the cringe person i also don't want people like staring at me I, I, I don't care what people think, but I do. Like, it's not that I don't care what people think or I do care what people think. I don't want to look like a fucking joke. That's what it is. Like, I don't care at all. I don't just want to look like a joke. P.S., you guys, did you know that now I'm doing my, I did a version of my Studio 54s for you guys called The Flash. I'll put the link below. They're the Flash necklaces. They're solid sterling silver with 14K plating. These are 10K solid. Like, these are like more like forever pieces. They're 10, solid 10K. You never have to take them off. But I know like gold is expensive. It's not for everyone. But it's like like the like the bracelets I did for you guys. These are my these are my Studio 54s that I wear all the time. Like I wanted you guys like I was like fuck like I want you guys to get the vibe. Like it bothers me that like not everyone's getting the vibe. Like everyone has to get on the level. Like everyone has to get the vibe. So I'm like not everyone can afford the 10K. Like whatever. Everyone's at a different point in their life. Like you know I remember when I first started YouTube I had nothing like. Nothing. I remember, like, I've told this story so many times, but like, 
I wanted the Gabrielle Chanel like lipstick that's like was like fifty dollars so badly. Like I was like saving up like whatever. I don't want to talk about it. Like like maybe I will, maybe I won't. Like I I mean I I have like talked about it, but I feel like I get on these tangents. You know what I mean? But everyone likes to hear those stories. Um, whatever. I got real real quick. I know because you guys want to hear. I know everyone's like I want to hear the stories about like, what happened. Okay. And I also feel like it's cool too to like hear that like you can do better. You know what I mean? Like you can like things will get better. I love it. I love those kind of stories. So um, I graduated with my master's degree, and when I basically I graduated right when the economy tanked, and I couldn't find a job at all. So I had to take any kind of a job, and my friend got me a job as like a receptionist at a hair salon in Newport Beach, and the the owner the, the it was the worst hair salon ever. They are all the biggest fucking cunts ever. Like livid ass cunts. They like treated me like such shit. They were just mean. They were just like snobs like I feel like a lot of hairdressers are, are already like very like into snobby and intimidating they always have like I know a lot of not all of them like a lot of them are really really nice like the ones that I go to are really nice if they're not nice I just don't go back to them um but like a lot of so hairdressers are like kind of like like give you I don't know I just they think that they're like they like I don't know they have like a very like I don't know what it is I just don't know but um that's how they were and it was, they were like the worst, the absolute worst, like treating me like Cinderella and like the wicked, like, the, I, like I was like fucking Cinderella. They were so fucking mean to me. Anyway, hate, hate them. Um, so I was making like no money, whatever. I wanted that lipstick so bad. Like I just like one of those things, you know what I mean? So I understand like not everyone has money at this time. Like maybe you will later on, like awesome, like whatever, work hard. Okay. So yeah, I want everyone to get the vibe. Everyone has to get the vibe. Okay. Shut up. Next. So, all right, another thing is like, to be honest, I have these sunglasses already. Hi, my angel. Okay. Um, I have these sunglasses already when I kind of feel like they're the same vibe, but you guys, to be honest, I don't really wear these that much. I love them, but they don't fit on my face too well. Like, look, I have to push my ears down for them to fit properly. It's either like, they don't fit well on my face. I like them. I just don't reach for them a lot. And I think these are going to be the same. These are going to be like the same situation and I'm going to be too embarrassed to wear them out and be like, oh my God, someone's like looking at me thinking like, who the fuck are you? Like, I just don't have the confidence for it to be honest. Like I'm not like actually that confident. Like I am, but I'm not. I'm like, I have like, obviously I'm not like, um, I'm totally, I'm like an introvert. I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm not like an extrovert, like loud and like, I'm not like that. Um, so anyway, I don't know. What do we think? Are we doing this? Can I just like show you guys like what I look like if I was like over there and like, we were just like, I was like sitting in a co like, coffee shop, like, well, like what would the vibe be like? Can I pull it off or am I like turning them? Okay, let me just go sit over. Let me just like sit my back. Let me just like kind of set it up. That's how I would do it, okay? Should I put my, should I put like my, can you see me? I'm on the black wall. Ugh! Um, hold on. This house is too small now, okay. Um, I'm back on my house. Okay, what am I doing? Move, you need to move. Sorry, you need to move. You have too many pillows. The only pillows are for the fucking dog. She likes to sit on pillows. Okay, can you see me? You kind of see me more now, right? Okay, let me just like sit here. Okay, let me move this pillow. Okay, let me move this pillow. Okay, I'm gonna pretend like this is the like. Can you see me? Okay, we can see me, right? Kind of. All right. Just wait. Just like I'm just gonna like sit down with these my phone. Okay. Hold on. Let me get my shit. Let me get my bag. Okay. I would usually have, actually today I just like went like this to get coffee. Um, I didn't get my, I didn't like bring a jacket because I felt like really skinny when I was freezing, but like, did I look skinny in this? These are, these are the like low leggings, obviously. If you don't have them, don't talk to me. Like, I'm not joking. If you don't have them, don't talk to me. Like, there's something wrong with them. Okay. Um, and this shirt is from the store. It's not a fucking store. Leave me alone. Okay. Um, okay. Like, is, tell me the truth. But the thing is, I really want to keep them. Like, I really do want to keep them. I really, really love them. A lot. Like, I love them a lot. Okay, let's keep that in mind. So don't let them get return them. And also keep in mind that, like, I live in this fucking stupid, sterile ass place called Brentwood. Where he's, I can't stand Brentwood people. Like, I can't stand them. Like, okay, this is how I would sit. Actually, I go and sit, like, so I go and sit in this corner. Like, I go to the country mark. I'm going to tell you about the country mark. Okay, so I go and, like, sit in this corner of, like, the country mark. Like, people, like, kind of, like, like mingle in like this area and I just don't because like they bring their children like I don't have children like I have a dog and I'm like embarrassing <laughs> and like I don't want to talk to anyone anyway like the last thing that we're like want to do is like talk to someone I want to talk to you guys like I love when you guys talk to me when I like meet people because I feel like 
we're on like the same page, but like what I have to talk about, what I've talked to a stranger about, I need to open the door and I'm hot. Um, anyway, can I just show you guys? Okay, so just tell me, I'm gonna just shut up. I'm just gonna sit down here for a second and just pretend like, anyway, yeah, I usually go sit like in this like corner in the sun, like I always take like Insta, Insta stories there of Maine because she loves it and like, I don't know, like no one bothers me, you know what I mean? So, bothers me, I mean like, like someone even like looks my way, I assume they're like making fun of me, you know what I mean? Okay, so is this like bad if I'm just sitting like this with the sunglasses on? Is it like that? Or is it about, is it bad? Like, I don't want it to be like extra. I don't want it, I actually hate being extra. I really hate it. Um, unless it's like, you know what I mean? Like my life is not extra. My life is, I go to work like every day. I'm very like actually casual, but I love to have like amazing accessories. Like I love like my gold chains. I love like my arm stacks, my rings. I love cool shoes and like bags, but like my outfits are usually pretty mellow. Like re recently not so I lost weight. So I'm like, I like, I'm trying to like just wear things I've always like kind of wanted to wear. Okay, but these glasses were like eight, seven, $800 or something. Like I'm not gonna fucking waste them. But don't tell me, I like, at the same time, I don't want you guys to me return them because I really wanna keep them. But like, you know, some people can like, some people get it. Like some people have the vibe. Like some people can put these on, they're like, oh my God, like you're so on, but am I not that? Like if, if I don't have the vibe, if I don't have it, like you, you can't fake it. You know what I mean? Do I like not have it? I don't know. I don't know if I can pull it off. I don't think I can. And I don't want to just like have another pair of sunglasses that like are sitting in my fucking closet. Let me put it in my mirror. So I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, just no, Alex. Like, like look. I don't know, I'm like really stressing about this, to be honest. I'm stressing about them because I want you guys, I want everyone to be like, oh my God, you need to keep them, like they're the best thing ever, like they're made for you, but I don't think it's the case. I'm like really bummed. I think the problem is, is like, and it makes my nose look really round here, and you can't wear them up there. Like it looks so stupid, you're supposed to wear them like that. But like, you know what I mean? Okay, I know, enough of this, right? Okay, I also got this, and this is another thing I'm pissed about. I can't return this, it's final sale. And I thought I was gonna wear it a lot more. I thought I was gonna like just wear it, but I haven't worn it since I took that one picture. It's Prada and it was only like 200 and something dollars. So like the price was really good. It was originally, I'm not sure there's no price on here. Okay, but like, I wanna wear it like this though, yeah. Like, I think this is kind of cute, but like these together, like I would love to be that bitch who could just pull this off, but Actually, it's not that bad, but I just too loud. Like, what the fuck is this? So annoying. Um, so let's put it in the hat. So like, I just don't think I'm cool enough. Like, like as cool as I. Oh my god, I'm such a loser. Oh my god, I'm such a fucking loser right now. Oh my god, something's wrong with me. I look so stupid. Okay, um, I don't know what to do. I need you guys to tell me the truth about those sunglasses. But I want to tell you guys about my country my experience. It's not like so excited. Um, I'm like so happy right now. Like I hope the best thing happened. I'm not keeping these. I don't know what to do. I like want them so badly. I just, the more I put them on, the more I'm like, they're growing on me. I'm like, now I love it. And this is really close so you guys can see what it does to my nose. See, the problem is I have like this bump on my nose actually. Like there's a bump right here. Oh, this is actually, I'll talk to you guys later. This is, if you, if you want this, I said I shared on my Insta and um, it's only available through my, <sighs> um, through email, it's solid sterling silver with CZ, and I also have gold plated too if you want. Okay. Um, anyway, so look. So it has to sit there anyway, but then it like makes it like a big ball of it in my nose when I actually don't. It's just the shape of the glasses. I don't know, but I love them. I don't want to return them. Like I want them so bad. Like they're so cute, but they're just a lot. Okay, shut the fuck up. Fucking sunglasses. Like you act like you're buying the fucking Hope Diamond. Oh my God, I could, I, that's, I always have, this, I'm like the most annoying person right now. I can't stand people do that. I can't stand like indecisive people or like people who act like 
they people buy something for like fifty dollars and then they act like they act like they bought the Hope Diamond. Like, bitch, shut the fuck up. It's a fifty dollar item. Like, sit the fuck down. Those are eight hundred, but still. Okay. Um, let me just tell you guys about. I had like the best experience today. I'm gonna sit with you. I'm gonna get my my chance to get closer. Um, I also have to show you guys the vibe that I'm doing. Um, that we're all good. I like. I love. You know what I love? Like this morning when I showed you like my eyeliner. I am like all about small, simple pleasures. You know what I mean? Like I'm all, my couch is like shit. That's what happens when you sit on that couch. Like you literally sit on it and one second and does that. Um, I'm all about like little pleasures, like candles. I love like buying a bougie candle. I love like doing like a new, like a new makeup trick. I love that kind of stuff because I feel like I'm too low. I just feel like it's just like a, like a little, like a very cheap pleasure that like brings you so much joy. And like, like a good coffee, like you know, something like that. Like that's just, I love that. Okay. So, um, what was I getting for? What the fuck did I get? What was I getting at? I have no idea. I'm lost. Um, I'm blinking. So, um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so today I went to go to the Country Mart. You guys know that like, I have issues everywhere I go with customer service. Like, I just feel like I, I legitimately have this thing with customer service where if the customer, if the customer, if the customer is like, like, if you don't agree with the customer, I don't give a shit. Like, I don't care. I don't care. Like, as a, as, if I was like the owner of any business and I saw any employee being rude to any customer, I would like legitimately fire them. Like, I would legit, like, get the fuck out of my face, you're done. Like, I don't care. Like, the, to be honest, I know the customer is not always right, but you guys don't understand, like, I deal with a lot of shit too. Like, especially behind, people like behind the keyboard have so much, ball, have so many balls, you know what I mean? It's like, they wouldn't dream of like, whatever. We deal with a lot of shit, you guys know, like, I have a company too. But like the customer is always right. Like we go, I go to the ends of the earth to like help people. You know what I mean? Like I don't fucking have to, like, actually I don't, but I do because I value guys that much. Like I understand, like, I don't care. Like, even if you're being like vicious and aggressive and crazy, like I still have to deal with it. You know what I mean? Like we have to deal with it anyway. So, um, country Mart, I just went there. I'm not joking. Like I almost like, I almost feel like the, like the owner of country Mart like watched my video, but they probably didn't. Obviously didn't. There's no owner of like Country Mart. <laughs> anyway, actually there is. I don't know. What? What am I talking about? <sighs> um. So I drove in to the Country Mart, and the guys are always a guy giving ticket, like a ticket, like a you know for your you, like a parking ticket so you get it validated to leave. Okay. I rolled up my window and he's like, "Good morning, ma'am. Welcome to the Country Mart. Here's your ticket." And I was like, "My goodness!" Like I was like, "Thank you." And I didn't really register. I just thought he was like a pleasant person. And then I was getting out of my car and I heard him saying to the next car, good morning, sir. Welcome to the country mart, but like wasn't fake. And he was like about it. He was like actually greeting people. Like they were like, that we were like, we, we, we value your business. Thank you so much for coming here. You know what I mean? Like I was just like so taken aback. I was so happy. I was like, oh my God, like what a great, what a great moment. It's like, this is so great. I, I don't know. I don't, I think something must have happened like within like the, ranks or whatever the management must have talked to these people I'm like you guys need to they're always pretty friendly at the front but like he was like so friendly like the sir and the ma'am was so on point like that's the way it should be done like that's how you address people I don't give a fuck if it's like that's what you do it's just the way it should be done I was like so excited then I went into um then I went in to get my coffee and I like I I, I really like I've been wanting to share this coffee thing with you guys and I've been ordering it like this and no one's corrected me so I thought I had like um I thought I had like a really cool recipe in my head but I think it's actually something else so I've been ordering and I took a picture of my Insta on my Instagram yesterday on my Insta stories so if you haven't been blocked then you probably would have seen it but like 95% of you guys are probably blocked so you know um <laughs> kidding um I get two shots two shots of espresso over ice with foam okay and I think it's called a macchiato I think that's what it is because a guy was like wait do you mean like a macchiato and I was like is that what it is like is a macchiato two shots of espresso with foam and he's like yeah and I was like oh my god I'm so stupid I've been ordering it like this like thank you for letting me know and so I ordered it and he did it all wrong like what I want and what the way it should, the way I want it done is and I'm gonna have to explain to them this time is I want two shots of espresso with a fuck ton of ice like fill it up fill it up and then put the foam like just on top of the ice you know what I mean the way he did it it was like he he gave it to me like this it was like already melted and I was like I was like, that's not what I wanted at all. I didn't like say anything. And I should have like, that's so expensive here. Like you should be able to like get it exactly right. But like, I don't like to make scenes. Like I'm not like that. Unless it's like fucking horrible. Then I'll like, yeah, I'll, like ask for another one to be redone. But it really takes a lot out of me to do that. Just because 
I, I just can't handle it. Like, I'm, I, I feel like I, like, give off a scent. Like, no matter how nice I am, like, I think that people just automatically think I'm an aggressive person. And then I'm like, I just don't know how to, like, I don't know. I, 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 I'm really, I, I don't get it. I'm, I'm like, my personality is, like, not for everyone. Um, dog sleeping right there. I can't even see where she is. Okay, so um, he, I was like, can, oh, and then I was like, I took it and I was like, thank you. And I turned around, I was like, no. I was like, can you, I was like, can you just put more ice in it, please? And so he put more ice in it, but it still wasn't right because then he put like the ice on top of the foam and then it was just trashed. But it's fine, it like, tastes the same, but I'm like still pissed. Um, so I love this drink so much. And the foam, I mean, it's just whole milk foam. So it's probably like 50 calories max, like nothing, like, I mean, whatever. So, I mean, it's not really whatever, to be honest. Um, to be honest, I haven't been like as diligent on my, my, it's not that I haven't been diligent. Um, I'm not gaining weight. I'm just not losing anymore. I think right now. So I need to like get back onto the 1200. I think I've probably been like slacking here and there. Just like, like yesterday I had like, instead of like, literally I had like, like a lunch, I had like a salad, like a very healthy salad, no dressing, but still I had like a salad and I really don't like to eat during the day too much. I like to have like, pretty much I like to have like one meal when I get home. Like that's like pretty much what I like to do. And like, maybe like whatever, a hundred calorie pack of like something during the day. I don't care what you guys say. Like, I don't give a fuck what anyone out there says. Like, I don't like, you're so, you're so embarrassing to even fucking question or comment about what I'm doing. Like worry about yourself. Like you are so cringe. Um, but yeah, I want to show you guys a vibe too. Um, but Okay, um, so I just want to quickly get back onto my, like, one more thing about the customer service thing, because I had, like, an incident happen to me last week, and I'm, like, really, really, really pissed about it. I'm not going to say where it was, just because I go there all the time, and I don't really want, like, I, you, like, I, I know that, I need more lipstick, huh? Do I need, like, more lip, more lip, lip liner? I just feel like my vibe's off. Like, I'm, like, so, I'm, like, I have, like, seven lip liners now that, like, I have to have it with me at all times. Like, if you don't get it, like, you need to fuck off. Get the fucking stupid square out of my face so I can see. Dumbass camera. Okay, um... So an incident happened to me the other day um, that I'm just like, I'm just not okay with. Like I'm not okay with because don't fucking speak to me like that. Don't actually, don't even speak to me about anything. Don't, don't, if it's another customer service thing, like I swear to God, it's not okay. So I'm just gonna kind briefly tell you guys about it. Like a lot of you guys won't understand because you just don't get it and I don't care, we'll get into a fight, like whatever, like leave me the fuck alone. Like just, just stop it because you're not gonna change my mind because you'll never change my mind about anything. Like you just won't. Um, so the plastic straw thing is just really, out, it's getting out of control because I'm just so sick of it. It's such a, it's honestly such a fucking hoax. Like I can't even stand it. Like it's so ridiculous. Like LA is completely trashed. There are like ho the homeless, the homeless situation is so out of control. There are like syringe needles all over the sides of the streets downtown. People are dying. People are dying of disease and like filth. Okay. And what LA cares about is banning people's plastic straws. When it's not even, and it's, if you look at where the plastic straws come from, it's not even fucking, it's not even the States, okay? It's from like India or like some some like Asian country, okay? Like it has nothing to do with us. Honestly, like, I, and like they are banning my fucking plastic straw. I don't have a goddamn fucking coffee. Like shut the fuck up, okay? Leave me the fuck alone. Like just get, just feel just fucking stupid. Like I can't stand, I'm gonna have fucking die over this. Like. I'm gonna fucking die. I have to drink out of a fucking sippy cup now, like a fucking toddler, because I can't have a plastic fucking straw. Okay, my heart's racing. I'm like that pissed. I, it's like, it's so, it is so asinine, okay? It is so asinine that this is the issue we are focusing on in LA, when first, it's not even a problem in the States if you look at the fucking numbers, okay? Second of all, we have huge ass problems, like major fucking problems. We are attacks beyond belief and this, the, homeless prop, the homeless situation is so out of control and dire. And there are needles all over the streets, okay? Like syringe drug needles all over the fucking streets. But the plastic straw is what we're talking about. Like it's just fucking stupid. I'm just sick of it, okay? Anyway, what the fuck is there a buzz, buzz going off? Buzz up. Fucking asshole! I'm so fucking sick of this. I'm fucking even about doing a video on peace around here. So annoying. Oh, do they not know that my, do they not know the hours of 
operations around here. It's not right now. It's not. Okay. So anyway, I went to this place to get a Diet Coke. I'm not kidding. Like I went to this place to get a Diet Coke because like I want a snack, but like I can't get a snack. So I just go like Diet Coke now. So they used to have plastic straws and the guy at the front who's always works there, he's like this older man. In the past, he's like, do you want plastic or, or he's like, he asked, he's like, do you want plastic or, or paper? And I was like, oh my God, yeah, plastic, please. So I've been going back a couple times, like whatever, I go like a couple, once a week or whatever. And like before the past like week, they didn't have plastic straws. They weren't, they weren't offering, but I still asked just in case. I always ask because sometimes they're like, yeah, I can get you one. Like it's fucking like drug deal or something. It's so fucking pathetic. So stupid. Alex, why don't you bring your own disposable and there was a fucking reusable plastic straw. So annoying. Because they're filthy, okay? Unless you sit there and like fucking clean them out like uh, uh, like stupid. Like, like I have time to clean out a fucking straw. So dumb. Like, I, I hate the reusable straw thing. It's so vile, it's so filthy. It's like, it's kind of like the reusable bag thing, which is whatever, I'm not gonna get into it, but like those, they're, they're filthy. I just want a new bag for my fucking groceries. It's so fucking like filth. I don't know, I don't get it. You like put, it's like gross. I don't want my fucking like groceries in old bags. So it's like, ugh, okay. Um. So I was like, this time the guy was there and he's like really nice to me, like, you know, whatever, like flirty nice, he's like old man and flirty. And um, I was like, oh, do you have plastic straw today? And he's like, no, no more plastic straws. You know, we're trying to save the environment. And I was like, I was like, oh yeah. I was like, um, well, we definitely have bigger issues than that, than plastic straws to worry about. And I guess he didn't like that response. It was just like, a, it, I wasn't trying to fight. I was just like, you know, whatever, like, okay. And he comes back at me and is like, well, you know, um, I, I don't live, he's like something like, I don't live or I only live on this earth. I like don't, he's like trying to say like, it's not his planet or like, it's not his earth. It's not his earth. And I was like, I didn't like, I, I just felt a little bit like I was being like, com like combat. He was being like comb combative because he wasn't smiling. He was like saying it straight. Like, like I'm like, like I'm, I'm like some kind of a crazy bitch who like wants to like kill the earth or some shit. And I was like pissed. Okay. Is the like lighting getting weird? I'm getting really angry right now. I feel like I'm getting orange. Um, so I was like something like, I just kind of like let it go, but I just felt like it was a little much. I, it, I, I feel like you had to feel like you had to like feel the resistance a little bit like between it. It was like, you, he knows me, like he's offered me plastic straws in the past. Like there was no need for like the attitude. It was like a little aggressive attitude. And I'm like kind of pissed about it because it kind of got to the thing where bitch, I'm the customer. Like this is the thing. If I was the manager in there and I heard that situation go on, I would have been like, you should have just like not said anything. You should just like after like she was like, oh, what did I say? After what I said where we have bigger issues, oh, we have bigger issues, haha, like something like, I just said it lightly. Um, he shouldn't have been like a back and forth about like, we don't live on this planet or we only live on this planet. Like we don't own or some shit, like some fucking like, oh, so now you're some brainiac, right? Um, I just didn't like it. I just thought it was like a little much and aggressive and I'm like kind of irritated about it because I'm sorry, did I ask for like a, like a political d debate of any sort or did I ask for a fucking Diet Coke? Um, I don't know. And like, honestly, to be honest, like you're not anyone to like be giving a political or any kind of a debate, like a, like an issues debate, like obvious, like, I mean, if you were that, you wouldn't be working at a fucking burger shop, like, to be honest, like, I'm not trying to be rude, it's true, like, just be a friendly person who does your job. I mean, that's, that is what it is. I just, I was like, oh my God, like, why is going here? Like, so now I'm not going there anymore. Like, I just feel like I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that, like, negativity. And I'm the customer and I feel like I wasn't like, it was annoying. It, to me, I was irritated. Like. If that, if I was that, if I was the owner of that shop, I would have been like, it, I wouldn't have said, oh, we're trying to save the planet or something like that. Or if I did, and then the person came back like with bigger issues. And then I would like, definitely like that, even though I'm thinking, go fuck yourself, you fucking bitch. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, yeah, like I would just be like, whatever, you're the fucking customer. You're paying me money to give you a fucking product. And that's where it fucking ends. I'm hot. Fucking brought that. Fucking diet coat. What the fuck? I don't understand why I'm mean, these fucking huge issue. I'm gonna put my skinny legend shorts on because I need to show you guys the vibe we're doing now. Oh my god, like don't I look so good right now? <sighs> like I just said it myself. I'm like, honestly I'm so happy I'm like skinny again. Like I just feel so much better about myself that I'm skinny. Like I just can like 
I don't care. If you guys want to be fat, like, leave me the fuck alone. I don't care. Like, let me fucking tell you guys what I want to tell you guys. Like, I just feel so much better about myself. I can, like, walk with my head held high. I, like, can, like, stand up straight. I don't know what it is. I just feel so much better. Like, I, if you want to be fat, that's on you. Like, leave me the fuck alone. I'm allowed to say what I want. Like, eh, 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 you know what I mean? Oh, my God. Also, I gotta tell you something. Like, next week, you guys are going to fucking die. Okay. Like, I'm going to literally, literally murder you. Like, you're going to all be dead next week. I swear I am launching the most ridiculous shit ever. Like, honestly, I think it's hands down the best thing ever. Like, like it's hands down the best, the best, like, HRH biatch fucking thing ever. Like, I'm so dead over it. I can't wait. Um, like, we've been working on it for, like a, like, a couple months, okay? And I've been, like, giving, I gave, like, a hint here and there, like, a random hint, like, like, I gave, like, a one random hint. I wanted to give other random hints, but like, I didn't want it to get, like, too obvious. But I'm, like, so, so excited because I'm dying to fucking put it on. Like, dying, okay? It is the best fucking vibe ever. So, yeah, next week. I'm not exactly sure what date. Like, for me, with, like, my, my business, I, I don't have, like, exact launch dates. I don't, like, plan things, like, like months and years in advance, like, real companies do like it's like when I feel it like they it's probably gonna be already like Friday or Monday but I might not launch till midweek I might launch Monday I don't just have I have to like feel it. I have to like it's all about like don't worry don't worry honestly it's so fucking rude why are they so fucking rude? Okay, look. Okay, let me show you. You guys remember that photo I posted yesterday? So I bought those Fendi sneakers. I bought them on sale from Sneeman. These, I bought these. And also, if you're, if you're not blocking my Instagram, you would have seen. I love them. They are like, they look, they're like sneakers, but they almost look like boots on just because of like how large the heel, heel area is. I mean, I they're also half size too small and they, they're a little like they kind of hurt honestly um but they only have this one size left and like i know i could have found them online but like i'm i love to like get things right away okay so let me show you how they look these socks are from cotton on yeah i bought them like last year um but i was like too fat to like wear them they look like shit on me like, fucking baby they look so stubby but i thought they look so cute now i feel like they just look so like 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 cool like cool nerd or something i just love them like so cute with like a black big black i don't have my jackets in the car but my big black jacket my puffer jacket i just feel like a like a like a like a complete loser like one of those like loser basketball players like that can't play basketball like some like nerd with like the thing on whatever you know what i mean like those memes are like a nerdy basketball player like, oh, let me play, let me play. Like that, I don't know. <laughs> but I think it's like sexy in a way, right? Like, I just think it's so fucking cute. I love it. You guys have always worn like socks with like my slides and shit though, but I was never like kind of like skinny enough. Not that I'm like super, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm super skinny, but like for me right now I'm doing well, you know? I have these bands too, which I love. Don't worry, don't worry, there's fucking noises everywhere. See, it doesn't look good with the bands, it's like too flat. No, it's like not the vibe. It's like not the vibe of the bands. I mean, it's okay, but the other ones are cooler. Like the high tops are better, I think. This is like too blah. Like I really am torn. I'm really fucking torn. Like, I mean, I just feel like I'm not, I feel like I'm very too like casual. You know what I mean? To like wear them. Like, I don't know. I don't have like the balls to wear them. That was a good profile thing, like to put on like the head. Um, I don't know, what do we think? 
I just want to have the. I just really want to have the door open because it's hot in here. But that's like it's just so fucking outrageous. It's so annoying. It's honestly so annoying. Um. So I don't know what to do without these. I love them. Like obsessed with them. But I don't know if I'll. I don't know. I want to wear them, but I don't want to. I want to wear them. I just don't want to like walk around with them on. Like, like where the fuck am I gonna wear these, you guys? I mean, I work every day downtown, like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't, like, have, like, a fucking, like, I don't have, like, this, like, jet-setting life, you know what I mean? This is, like, a jet-setting kind of life vibe. I don't know. Did I tell you guys I'm redoing my office again? Like, the pink showroom, the pinkish, like, 1970s vibe showroom, it's like, I'm done, I'm done with it. I was just, like, that's how I am. Like, one day I'm, like, ugh, like, honestly, like, I'm... I'm really like everything in here is strength and ice too. Like my couch, I really I love the couch, it's so comfortable, but like I really want another one. I'm not gonna tell you guys which one I want because I, everyone's gonna be like, I just want it to be my own. Like I want it to be my own before everyone does it. Um and I want a new coffee table. Like I just really want a new coffee table. That coffee table was like was like some kind of coffee table I got like kinda of, like last minute. Like, I needed a coffee table and it was like the perfect fit. But like I don't love it, you know what I mean? Um I just don't know how to like sell furniture. Like I need to sell it. It's hard to sell. Like I don't have to sell furniture. Do we talk? Do we talk about this? I don't know. Every everything's like treading thin ice. That's not like I'm, keep, I'm not like that or like that or like these or this. Like this I love, but couch is just like I can't even sit on it without it like getting destroyed the first time I sit on it, and it just it causes a lot of anxiety for me because I can't even sit on the couch. Like if anyone comes over, I like dread them even like sit, touching the couch because I know it's gonna become a fucking mess. Um. I can't stand this fucking noise. Fucking asshole, man. Fucking buzzsaw right in my fucking ear. <sighs> Stupid. Crackers too. Like I really try hard not to keep any snacks in the house because I just do I just spit on you? My god, I just spit everywhere. I'm so disgusting. Something wrong with me. Um these because it says five crackers, 110 calories. Let me show you guys how five crackers is. I literally spit everywhere. That's two right here. So five of them is 110 calories. Like, sounds wrong to me. Armenian cracker bread. I don't know.
call you back like mm, 20 minutes. Yes. I'm sorry. Okay, go back. Just eating to fucking eat now, I swear.